Actually, there's nobody to be here because I'm really late at night. Or early in the morning. It is all perspective. And this is all about perspective tonight. Or in the morning for you guys. Hi. For those of you who don't know, I'm Darby. Darby Leddick. Who is that? Nobody. Just a figment of your imagination. Part of a story. We're both part of the story, actually. I'm the writer. And you guys are some of the characters. I bet you've been called characters before already. Now, it's okay to be a character. What's that mean? It means you're a little different. You're worth talking about, writing about. You know? Some people just aren't worth writing about. They're just pretty boring. Don't go out there and live life. They watch other people live it, and then they're bored. Why are they bored? Didn't do anything with their life. So this is a story about new changes. Astrological changes, for those of you who aren't aware. What is astrology? Astrology, that is about how the planets move around, how they affect us, possibly. Now, a lot of people don't believe in that, and I certainly did when I was younger. And uh, believe is a, a questionable term in itself, especially nowadays. But, um, but in other words, do we take this into account? Do we study it? Do we look at it? Because now we know, we actually do know, that they're connected to the sun. All of our planets have little plasma pathways where they are actually connected. And they're actually connected to each other. And we have now the evidence through satellites and stuff. So it's no longer hocus pocus. They actually do affect each other. Now, why is that meaningful? Well, if you don't think they affect each other like the moon, if you don't think the moon affects the earth, watch the tides. Watch the water. Watch women's cycles. Or hormones. All those kind of things. There's all sorts of evidence that the planets, that the moon, the energy that they create orbiting around each other. Kind of like balls, you know, and they form sort of like this. The sun's up ahead and the balls are behind it trying to catch up with it in a certain sense. <laughs> It's not like we see it. They're not all in the plane, you know, waiting. They're nice and neat. They're actually going through space at very high speeds. When we talk high speeds, when we talk about solar wind speeds, we're talking about 300 to 600 kilometers a second. A second. If you go 600 kilometers a second for a whole minute, you've done gone, what, 60 times 60? It's 3,600 kilometers in a minute. Imagine how far an hour takes you. Yeah, you don't want me to do that. But the point is this. Reality is not what it seems. We're flying through space at enormous speeds. Getting hit by winds coming off the sun. And they affect us. They affect our shield, Scotty. So if you study this stuff, if you look at what's online these days, and there's lots of information online, you can tap all of those computers. Now, hey, before I go too far, did you do your I love you exercises this morning? Because, see, I'm doing this really late at night. So chances are you aren't seeing this when I'm doing this, but it looks live. So we're going to pretend it's live. And we're probably a couple minutes into it. And the question is, did you do your I love you's in the mirror this morning? Now, I explained how this exercise works the other day. And this is very important as you begin your changes. And when I say changes, what are changes? It's a new day. And if it's a new day and you want to become more, become better, well, the moon is just passing out of Sagittarius, or excuse me, Capricorn. It's passing out of Capricorn, which is significant for those of people who follow that stuff. And particularly because Jupiter's sitting there next to Venus and all sorts of other cool stuff that's going on that I don't fully understand, but I do understand some people do. And I listen to a few. And we're about to enter some pretty explosive times, this transition, this sort of 
discovery of the secrets of the past and the future. So the reason I asked that question, did you say your I love you's in the mirror this morning? What's that mean? If you didn't catch it last time, this is a simple exercise. It takes you a few minutes, depending on how difficult it is for you. It was very difficult for me. Yeah. You see how I'm staring right deep into your eyes right now. But you do that in a mirror. Go look at yourself about this far away. Or all you see is face. Look yourself in the eyes and don't blink. Say, I love you. 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 I really do. I love you. It's without reservation. You need to say that ten times. I love you. Doesn't sound very hard, does it? And it's not to be <laughs> egotistical, self-centered, narcissistic. No, what it is is to go ahead and convince you if you can do it unconditionally that you love yourself enough to go ahead and help yourself through these big changes we got coming ahead, these challenges. These are the things that we look at. in the mirror. And if you're like I was, we condemn ourselves, we berate ourselves, we beat ourselves up, worse than most people could do to us. In your childhood, you get those little things that go into your head and don't want to come out. You know what I'm talking about. If you had a disciplinarian for a father or mother or Anybody that criticizes you and beats you up to the point that you start listening to their voice instead of the one inside of you. The one that should be saying, I love you. You're worth fighting for. I love you. You shouldn't be getting treated like that. Not even by me. Because guess what? Nobody can beat you up as much as you can. And nobody can take you out of that state of mind of being a victim or being beat up better than you can. But you got to love yourself to do it. It's kind of like this. Imagine I got a baby. I just had a no, Don't imagine I had a baby, please. Through the help of a beautiful, wonderful woman who bore my child and beautiful to me and God, if I would have that child. And I love that child unconditionally like I did my son. It's the kind of love you just can't possibly understand until you have a child or you have a dog or a cat that just loves you unconditionally in return. What's that mean? There's a good joke. And that's it. You can take your dog and put him in the trunk and you can drive around for an hour and you stop and you open up the trunk and your dog's going to be smiling and happy and licking and happy to see you. And you put your wife in the same trunk and you drive around for a while, an hour, heck, yeah, and you open up that trunk. Is that unconditional love you're looking at? You tell me. I don't know. Try it out. See what you think. No, never mind. Better not. Come to think of it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I got stuck on thinking about my ex-wives for a second. It's, the thought actually didn't... Never mind. Forget that. Um, back to what I'm supposed to be paying attention to. Hmm. Big trunk. Okay. Um, here's the point, guys. It's time to finish up. You can't go start something else out unless you finish up with the old stuff. Put the old life to bed. Put all that stuff that you spent the last 20 years saying, I got to do this, got to do this, got to Okay, you did it. Raise the kids. A lot of people facing these issues, and we got to understand this. This is the time. Mercury in retrograde. We're going back to try to figure this out for the moment. We got the moon moving out of Capricorn. It means we're triggering on this last day. Yes, the 11th. You're on the 11th now, by the way. I'm on the 11th. It's after midnight. That's why when I say, when you see this, hopefully in the morning, go to that mirror. Prepare yourself. It's going to be an incredible day. Hmm. One way or another, 
It'll be a memorable day. We got more snow falling. Oh, yeah. And more snow falling. And more snow falling. We got challenges ahead that most people didn't dream could be possible. And here's why. And this is a very important point. Tomorrow. Oh, it arrived. It, 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 it's in conjunction with today. After all these decades of waiting, I'm older than you guys, but tomorrow arrived at midnight. Yeah. It is now. Today and tomorrow combined. Now, with that in mind, I want you to imagine something really difficult to imagine. I mean, really hard to imagine. And some of those people out there, they're going to say, why in the hell is he asking me to imagine something so, so difficult? Mm -hmm. Imagine. Right now. It's checkout time. You got seven days left. You're going to find out today you got seven days left and I want you to live every one of those days like it's your last day in this life. What's that mean? You're going to die? Not necessarily. You might. We all do sooner or later. Not anything to be afraid of. That's your first process. Why? Don't be afraid of dying. Well, guess what? There are things worse than dying. Trust me, there's lots of things worse than dying. So dying is not so bad. But being afraid of it, that's bad. So first of all, I'm not talking about dying. I'm talking about change. Seven days for your life totally changes. No going back. No yesterday. Because see what happens here. Yesterday you were thinking about tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. You got it licked. As long as I keep saying I'm going to do it tomorrow, I get out of it, don't I? Because tomorrow never comes. Guess what? It came this morning at 12.01 before you even woke up this morning. Like I said, get over that mirror. Say your I love yous. That's step one. Wouldn't you want to love yourself before you head out of here? Before you separate from all those beautiful people that you know? Yeah. Make peace with yourself. I used to tell people, and after three marriages, in a rather bad love story at the end of it, I finally found peace inside. It wasn't from looking for love. Hmm. You heard a lot about that. It was from marrying my masculine and feminine sides together. So that I wasn't beating myself up all the time. But I could start feeling the love. Like having that baby in your arms. That I talked about earlier. Like my son. Well, guess what? Yeah. You are that baby. In that mirror when you look in there. Understand spirit's really old. Spirit's been around a long time. God has been around for eternity, and spirit is nothing but God manifested. God thought. Luckily, you get to have some personality in that manifestation, even in this life, even in spirit life, even as we go on as a soul, per se. Some don't believe in it, some do. I'm really not here to argue or debate that. It's a fantasy book I'm writing. Remember, Wibbly, Wub, Energy Soul, Wub. How you manifest that and create a web. I'm a web under capital letters. That means I'm a living web, a living bub embodied by spirit controlling mind and thus controlling my body. Keeping myself healthy, keeping myself young, controlling myself, treating my body, my child, honor thy vessel. All scripture says, honor thy vessel, which is the baby, the body. When we say baby, why is it baby? Well, <laughs> Because it's really not the smartest tool in the box unless you get involved and teach the body. How do you brush your teeth? How do you clean yourself up? 
how do you go ahead and operate in society without having people throw rocks at you and beat you up? These are the things you got to teach body. Body is fairly stupid otherwise. So we're supposed to help them. We don't. In schools, I'm sorry. Sometimes we just plain don't do that. And it's rather sad. That's another whole discussion. I'm trying to keep my mind focused. I even have a set of notes. You know how hard that is for me to don't follow a set of notes? And it's not a teleprompter, you'll notice. I'm not like doing the, the bid on a president act. I'm not going to go. No, no, I got actually notes over here. Anyway, so th here's the point, though. And this is very important. Sometimes you must have an end to have a new beginning. What we are going through right now in our country is the end of something that many of us, many of us, including me, put a lot of weight into. Honor. Truth. Cheaters can't win. Dead people can't vote. Things like that. In the book, of Wibblery and Wub. And the chapter we're just finishing up, that didn't quite happen that way in that chapter in that book. That's what Darby was writing about. All this stuff is happening and all these secrets are about to come out and all this exposure, like an explosion of information and disclosure that's about to occur. It's just in the planets. I'm not starting it. I'm not doing it. It's a fantasy story I'm writing. And it's about to occur in the next chapter. I'm just giving you all some preview because I got the next chapter from the guy that wrote it 30 years from now. Remember? I told you about that yesterday. It's confusing for some people. I know. It's confusing for me. When I first started out, I... I who knew? Sometimes we think we're somebody we're not for a long time. Sometimes other people convince us that we should be somebody we're not. For a long time. In fact, sometimes it's all your life. But sooner or later, you got to make a decision if you're going to go ahead and take over control. Be in charge. Leave all that garbage crap and people behind that are keeping you from being who you need to be. True to yourself. True to your spirit. Your, if you choose the word, God. That doesn't mean some guy up on there standing there with beard and long hair and well actually more hmm, actually if you want to look at some of the great murals on the ceilings of chapels and stuff, it does kind of look like the God's gonna have long hair and all that good stuff. But I think that's just a depiction of what a cool God would look like. And if God wants to take that form, I guarantee he's gonna look pretty cool. This is the time for cashing in, guys. Cashing out of what you got that you don't need anymore. That's really important if you're going to go through change, transformation. And if your life were going to end next week, you got any people say, hello, honey, I ain't seen you in a while. I love you. Just wanted to drop in and say, I'm glad life is going good for you. See you later. Maybe you won't. Maybe you will. Things can change fast. Tornado goes through, houses are gone. Fires go through, entire neighborhoods are gone. Snow goes through and you can't find anybody's house, car, or anything else unless you dig it out. That's possible. There have been times in the past when we have seen not just a couple feet, we have seen 10 feet of snow, 20 feet of snow, 30 feet of snow in a single winter and winters that did not end such as in the 18, 16, 17 era when there was volcanoes and they had the summer that never happened. Yeah. We've been through that little baby cycle version before of what we're going to go through next. So as this gets cold, I gave yesterday a very long video about staying warm, taking precautions, watching the people around you, helping your friends, getting the right fuel, taking, make sure you got air if you're going to burn some heaters in your house. All these things I talked about. A lot of things happening. Please don't make it somebody dying from trying to heat a house and killing themselves. That's really important to me. I explained that I had a 
grandfather died from a heater fire. And uh, I want to go ahead and reiterate that because we've got not just one, but three of the worst storms that have ever crossed the United States. And they're happening as we speak, as we wake up. Tomorrow is today. This is the tomorrow that we've talked about. Beginning. It's not ending. It's beginning. Now, have we got everybody in place that we're going to need to go ahead and get through this winter, the storm, the shortages of food because we sold it all to China in this book? This is a big deal in this next chapter that I'm writing about, that I'm reading about. That's the beautiful thing about being in the future, being in the past, and being in the present. When you're in the present, it allows you to understand in hindsight much better what you had in the past. When you look into the future, what your actions might bring, what you synthesize out of the facts you might see going on, as a writer, I pay a lot of attention to those facts, those people, those archetypes. Oh, look at that. She got on here. Supposed to be sleeping, tiny Texas houses. Yeah, the canal is actually very full, Shauna. Although some rain wouldn't hurt, but now all that's filled up right now. We're doing real good. It's the rainwater pond is actually very low. Um, I'm probably down to about 10 feet in that from 30. So, but again, I, I got distracted. See, my moderator, where'd my moderator go? Oh, they're over there with the lighting people and the costume people. They're all... I was trying to try to fit them on, everybody on here together with me, but the stage is so small that I can't get everybody else on the production crew in here. Imagine that. Low budget. All right. Now, um, otherwise, hey, guys, this is really important. When you get up this morning, one of those barriers was saying I love you to yourself. You got to get past it. Please. I shouldn't have to give you orders on how to go in there and say I love you to yourself and see if you can do it without cringing, without saying, yeah, but, but, you're too fat, but, but, you got a, you know, you're an asshole, or but, but, you go, you know, why don't you control yourself, why don't you go get a job, all that. you can't say all that, you gotta say, I love you. I love you, man. Just like I do to you guys. It's unconditional. Now, there's a few people out there I love that I won't allow back on the property. I can still love them. They just can't come back. I can love people that have hurt me dearly in my life. It doesn't mean no good to hate them. It doesn't mean no good to be angry with them. What's that do? It keeps me frustrated. If I would be keep angry, just stay angry at all the people that ever wronged me, stole from me, tried to beat my little skinny butt up. Much to the surprise that didn't happen so easy, but the fact that they tried. I mean, why would you want to kick my butt? Well, never mind. <laughs> It'd take too long to get all those answers. Don't be commenting for all the reasons. No, no. Seriously, it's time to begin, guys. You're waking up. Go in there, do your I love yous, all right? Just like I would do in your best very wide voice, like I do for Trinity. I love you. Say it to yourself. And in that week I told you about, at the end of which you might have to change everything, your job, your house, your life. Make sure you say to those you love unconditionally, truthfully that way. If you're going to use the words, take that wub, that energy of soul, express it through your web. If it's not through touch, a kiss, a hug, a caress, some way to communicate that you love somebody through touch. If it's not communicating you love them through the poem you wrote them last night, or something else. Maybe created a beautiful, beautiful painting. A song. Maybe you whistle. Whew. 
you mobilized with them in mind, focused on them, them in your heart. Oh, you webbled like this. You got on and did a little video, which is my webbling. It's my way of showing my energy is soul to all of you out there that I'll never meet all around the world. New Zealand, Japan, Norway. I've even got critics all the way. Besides friends, I got critics one way or another. I still love y'all. I'm inspired by my critics. Hmm. Sometimes I'm actually excited about the chance to go ahead and chew some of those trolls up and chomp, chomp, chomp. So I kept all these teeth. So, please, I know I've dragged on. It's late at night or in your case, early in the morning. Shauna, you should be probably sleeping too. <laughs> but when you all wake up, when you get up in the morning, when we start this brand new transition, this change, from yesterday, when you thought tomorrow would never get here, it's here. Say your goodbyes. Say your hellos. Hello to a new day. And now, get to work. Action. Not words. Action. That's why I'm doing this so early in the morning. So when I wake up in the morning, I got to go out there and take action because it's going to get cold. Real cold for me down here. 17, they're talking about. Which means you guys are going to absolutely suffer. I'm sorry for you. I feel bad for you. I don't know why in the heck you're up there, but still, some of you love it. Some of you think this snow is coming in. You're going to be going, I'm going to be so happy as soon as I find my snowmobile underneath that eight feet of snow. I'm going to go for a ride in my snow tunnel I'm going to make with my snowmobile until I hit a tree. <laughs> Not really. No, actually, you're not going to be riding your snowmobile. Anyway, if you see my brother playing golf, popping his head up and down out there looking for that orange ball out on the golf course, you tell him I said hello, and why in the heck isn't he barefoot? See y'all later.